Hello and welcome to that man. That is me merchandise and when I'm not reading Itchy, I like a good romance. Now I know there's a lot of great romance series out there. My Love Story, Quintessential Quintuplets, all of the others. But there's one that I found was quite interesting. Kaiju Girl Caramelize. Kaiju Girl Caramelize tells the story of a young girl who isolates herself from the entire world. She's quite a loner. She doesn't really like to talk to other people. And the reason being, she has an incurable illness. An illness that has, well, monster repercussions. Kuroi Akahishi, when she falls in love, when her heart skips a beat, she turns into Godzilla. Yeah, didn't you, you didn't expect that, did you? Now, what I liked about this was that it wasn't the whole monster girl kind of thing that we normally see. You know, them monster girl ones. Wink, wink. That I cover all over on the channel. Instead, she turns into basically Godzilla. There's no etchy about it. She just goes on and destroys some buildings. As Godzilla does. That's literally the, the purpose of Godzilla. But what I liked about this is that it was rather cute. It was rather romantic about it. An awkward, shy girl, but she's fallen for the most popular man in town. Well, in the school anyway, done about the town. And she's having to try and mix things. She's having to try and be a little bit more social. She's trying to be a little bit more out there, while also not destroying the entire world. It's kind of like Call Me Can't Communicate or What I'm What, except just, it's a little bit less on that. It's more focused on the romance kind of thing. And you know what? It's one that I really enjoyed. I'm not going to lie, I a sucker for this kind of thing sometimes. And I didn't know what to expect. I heard a few people hyping it up and when I looked at it I was just like, oh yeah, that's going to be a bit silly. And no, when I read it I was just like, oh wow, this is, this is really good. This is incredibly good actually. And it's one that I feel that a lot of people are overlooking. I don't hear anybody talking about this one. Maybe because it's not straight up romance, it's not straight up shoujo, and it's not a monster girl titty. But it's one that I would definitely recommend picking up. There's not a lot to see about it, but I would just say, yeah, check it out. It's one that you, you're not really gonna go wrong with. The art, there's a lot of cute shoujo-esque artwork in there for the romantic scenes, while you're also going to get your usual scene and kind of monster destroying the entire world kind of thing from the monster part of things. It's a nice balance and I'm really enjoying the characters. It's one where you can kind of go, go for it girl, Gambare, and really want her to succeed. And that's what you always want in a good title, especially in a good romance. A lot of romances you're kind of just like, oh, you're scum, but you're popular for the girls. Well done, you. Or it's the kind of the usual, I'm a loser, but all of these girls love me. Yeah, I mean, she's, she, she's self kind of inflicted, that she's self kind of having to hide herself away, but for a valid reason. At the end of the day, if you turn it into Godzilla, you're not exactly going to be going, Oh, let's go down to the street. Oh, I love that picture. Oh my god, I've destroyed the picture. I've destroyed the baby. I've killed my mother. Yeah, you've got to be a little bit more sensible when it comes to that. Killing things isn't really a good idea. In fact, I would really rather recommend not killing things. But enough of my rambling. I would definitely recommend Kaiju Girl Caramelize if you want a nice romance along with some monster girl, monster kaiju, kaiju girl kind of content. It's not going to be usual etchy, but you're going to still have a great time from it. And I've just realised I bought volume 2 months and months ago. I probably should check out volume 3 and see if it's actually released yet.